everybody. As you can see, I have Marley twists in. So I just wanted to come and have a little discussion with you guys to let you know what the difference is between my experiences with Foxbirds that I had in May, pretty much through September, and these that I got in about three weeks ago. So my regimen, which if you've watched my video in the past, is pretty similar. There are a few things that I've had to change and add because um, Marley twists are a lot more difficult to keep neat. That's the biggest difference that I've experienced. Um, with box braids, I didn't really like getting them wet completely, but if it happened, it was okay. With the Marley Twist, I'm much more careful when, when I'm washing my scalp to make sure that water doesn't end up going all the way down. One, it'll be a lot, lot, lot heavier than the um, box braids, especially because my Marley Twists are very thick. Okay, they are pretty big. So it will be a lot heavier than what I would um, like. So what I've been doing is I've been using my spray bottle, a natural's best friend, and I've added um, a few things into this cocktail to give it a nice little milky consistency and to keep my scalp nice and fresh and moisturized. I also use it for wash days because yes, it is important to still wash your hair and your scalp when you're protective styling. A lot of people forget that and that's not good. Always keep a healthy scalp. scalp. So, when I protective style, I do shampoo. I'm not a big shampooer. And I still go um, the safe route with sulfate-free, paraben-free, trying to make sure that I'm not drying out my scalp. So what I do use is Jane Carter's Hydrating Invigorating Shampoo, sulfate-free. Okay, I only use this product and her line when I am protective styling. I don't use it during my normal hair regimen when I don't have a protective style in. And I dilute it. I add water to it to make sure that it's not so harsh on my scalp, like I said. I try to avoid a dry scalp as much as possible because, one, it's bad. And um, during my Marley Twist experience, I've actually been experiencing a dry, dry, very itchy scalp, and I don't know why. Um, my regimen hasn't really changed. I've, I've used Jane Carter Solution when I had the box braids, but it's been a lot itchier. It could also be the colder weather is coming in. So I've had to add tea tree oil to my um, leave-in. Uh, when I'm doing wash days. So I add it for wash days. And when it's re if it's a really extreme case, I'll add it with uh, castor oil into my scalp. So just alleviate the itch, make sure everything is okay, because <laughs> that is the basis of healthy hair and growing really good hair um, when you are protective styling, because you don't want to lose the hair when you take it out. So that's my wash day. So I do use Jane Carter. When I want to deep condition, which you still can do, a lot of people don't know that, when I want to deep condition every other week, I add in the Nutrient Replenishing Conditioner from Jane Carter. I add it to the water and I add different oils. Um, and that has been put into here. But this time, I fooled you. <laughs> but this time I've added, besides just the Jane Carter, I received Shea Moisture's Pink Line. Sorry pink line. Okay, the curl and shine conditioner. I've added it to the cocktail along with their elixir, which I received from Supernatural's BK um, hair event, which was great. If you haven't seen what it was about, you should watch our previous video uh, review on that. They were really awesome. It was great. And we got like some nice little freebies. So uh, we got this and I've added that just to give my scalp a nice little boost in the colder weather because you have to take care of your hair a little differently than um, when it's warm outside and humid. So that is what is in this. So this, my milkier consistency, is for my wash days. I spray it in, um, get the sud going, and then rinse with uh, lukewarm water to get the shampoo residue out. When I'm deep conditioning, I'll add uh, oils and their conditioner from Jane Carter Solution. And when I just need a nice little moisture boost during the week, when I feel my scalp is itchy or dry, I use the purple top with um, Shea Moisture Conditioner. I add in castor oil, my favorite, as well as tea tree oil and whatever oils I may think necessary, coconut oil sometimes, just to make sure that my, help, my uh, scalp is very healthy, moisturized, and I have a great opportunity to retain length while protective styling in the winter. Key things to remember, box braids are a lot easier and lighter, okay, to take care of along the lines of neatness. It's very similar with washing scalp, everything similar with the Marley braids, twists, I'm sorry, but Marley twists get a little messier quicker. So this is three weeks. Um, I always wear a head tie to bed, and I just make sure that I don't get the bottom part wet. 
Um, other than that, I haven't had such a big difference in experience besides the itchier scalp. I've enjoyed having both different types of protective styles in. And uh, when I do take this out in about three weeks, because I don't keep my uh, protective styles in longer than six weeks, I give my hair some time to breathe and then I'll put in something different. Wherever the wind blows me. Just always make sure to take care of your scalp. Make sure to wash your hair even when you're protective styling and always, always, always moisturize your scalp because that is the basis of healthy hair. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, follow us, all that good stuff. We love you.